Hey guys, so I just got finished watching the Doctor Who Christmas special and you know, it, as y'all know, I can be very hard on Doctor Who. I'm usually, <laughs> if you watch my other videos, I'm, I'm usually kind of hard on it. Oh, but before I even get any further, Merry Christmas! I know I'm late, but I um, hope everybody had a great holiday and um, I know I did. So uh, yeah, I went to talk, that's why I'm talking about the Christmas special in general. But uh, yeah, it was, okay, spoilers before I even get any further. It was, it has some, some creepy elements to it that I personally liked for once. Like, I've been hard on Doctor Who. But it had an Inception sort of quality to it, the dreams. And I'm like, okay, it needed some work. It actually needed a little bit of help because it, it just, it did it too much. Like, it had an Inception sort of feel with like, you know, he starts off, they're dreaming, and then they're like, they're in another dream, and then they get the um, crab thing off, there's another dream. And I was kind of feeling like, all right, you know, it's a bit much. I almost jumped the shark there, but it wasn't. It was more. It was been. It was better than how it's been. And we get to see Pink again, who is back for a little bit. And what's weird is that he looked different, in my opinion. He looked a lot different. Uh, I almost wonder if it's the same actor, cause like, it's like everything. Like I don't know, it was him, but like he looks really, really different. And uh, this is my opinion. Tell me in the comments what you think. Does he look different to you? And, uh, you know, it was a lot of touching moments. She didn't want to wake up. Um, they pulled the crab thing off her head. And I love the part that I thought was pretty awesome was, like, the Audrey 2 mask. If you don't know what Audrey 2 is, that's uh, a little shop of horror with the, the big plant with the mouth like this. It goes, you know? <laughs> and it had some of the, that type of action. And I thought it was a pretty unique idea. It's just, when it's on the face, it just wraps around. But... I would have preferred for the man not to die. Like, they snatched him in and the doctor didn't even see if he was still okay. I, I just don't like how careless this doctor is. He really, it's like, he only cares about him, number one, himself, TARDIS, kind of, and Clara. That's it. Clara is number one, or number three at least, on his list, and everybody else can burn. Like, and I just feel like that's not the doctor way. The old doctor cared about everybody. He would have went and, uh... You know, checked on if the guy made her or not, or would be like, I'm gonna get all of you. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to take you all through this. This doctor at like, well, you're a casualty. Like, I don't give a crap. And I'm like, do you want people to hate him? Do I mean, is is he supposed to be that unlikable? I mean, that's too much. Don't make him that unlikable. But overall, I'm not gonna get into it. I was impressed that the whole Santa thing was not as bad as I thought it would be, and I like the actor who plays it. He's like it. He's in like every uh, British show. I really like him, and um, they made a great Santa Claus. And uh, it was uh, it had a lot of creepiness. The crab thing that was stuck on their heads was really well designed, and uh, I love the dream quality because I love I'm into dreams and I always love Inception and all that type of stuff. So I'd give this episode probably a seven out of ten, not bad, and that's better than what I've been giving Doctor Who lately. And um, I will talk to y'all guys later. If you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe. And also, I'm an author. Don't forget to share my books on the links below. And I will talk to y'all guys later. And I hope y'all had a merry Christmas and have a happy New Year. Okay, bye.